Some viewers may find this disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. What's good, everybody? It's Destiny Choice. You're watching Choice TV. So today I'm going to be talking about that show, 13 Reasons Why. And I know that it's getting like a lot of controversy. People being so damn fucking stupid saying, oh my god, it's promoting suicide. How the fuck is that shit promoting suicide? Not once in that show did somebody say, hey, you know, the best way to kill yourself is to grab a razor blade and cut your fucking wrist open. No. It's very fucking stupid how that show is getting a lot of controversy over the girl committing suicide. It's a damn TV show, bitch. It's not a reality show. Anyways, this is about the whole Hannah Baker situation. So, I just finished watching it, and by the way, if you have not watched 13 Reasons Why, I suggest checking that shit out because it is a very, very, very fucking good. And you guys know I talk shit about everything and everyone, and they damn moms, and they dogs, and they cats. I talk shit about everything and everybody. So, if I'm saying this is good, you guys should definitely go check it out. If you guys don't have Netflix... But because it, it is on, available on Netflix, and that's usually where a lot of people watch it. I'll link a couple websites down below where you could watch it on your computer, not mobile device, but computer. 13 Reasons Why. Quick little disclaimer. If you have not watched the show, don't watch this fucking video because you're not going to have any idea what the fuck I'm talking about at all. <sighs> the whole Hannah Baker situation. So basically, Hannah Baker is like a little... 17 year old girl who committed suicide because people were bullying her people were calling her a hoes and talking so much shit about her and This was like basically trying to give us an insight on how high school is like nowadays And I don't know I don't really see bullying go on that much like this situation in high school I don't fucking know. I thought it was crazy how she killed herself Because people were calling her a slut but then again, I can I can get where she's coming from with the with the whole her being raped thing because being raped that's like a traumatizing thing like I've never been raped and I don't plan on getting raped but getting raped I heard like things like that like it could traumatize you like it fucks with you like it messes with you or getting sexually harassed I feel like Hannah Baker probably should have spoke up but some people are scared to speak up and I feel like Hannah Baker was low-key doing the most. I can understand why she was hurt, why she was scared, why she didn't want to tell nobody. Because it's like, she thought she could suck it up and she thought she could handle it. But, I really wish she would have said something. Things would have happened so much differently. She's depending on other people to speak up and stick up for her and say something. But, you really should have spoke up for yourself. If you don't speak up for yourself, no one's going to speak up for you, honestly. That's just a life lesson, and I think the counselor gave her some real life advice. Say something, or move the fuck on. Remember the whole her, like her first kiss. This, this happened like in the second, third episode. Like her first kiss was with that guy. Um, what's what? What you call? I forgot his fucking name. That guy um who watched his girlfriend get raped. At first, Hannah Baker was fucking with him. The football player, whatever the fuck his name is, I don't know his fucking name. But at first, it started off with them kissing and them feeling each other. And she went to the park with him, and then they kissed. And then there was a whole thing where somebody took a picture of them kissing, and then somebody spread that picture around. And he ran around running with the rumor, oh, they had sex. And he was, like, running with it, being okay with it, like, letting it happen, because he thought it wasn't that big deal. Stuff like that happens to girls all the time. Girls always get accused or get called a hoe because something happened with a guy when sometimes it really didn't happen with a guy or sometimes niggas just run their mouth when a girl does fuck a guy shit like that happens it really does happen and i feel like hannah baker had no no like she she you you had no business being in a park alone with some nigga like what you doing ma like what you doing like she put herself in a lot of the positions that she was in but then again she's a young girl she didn't know any better but like you should have said something ahead of time, or like you like your like your ex friend got raped and you never told anybody shit. You didn't tell anybody shit. You waited to you you wanted to tell it on a tape, on a tape, my nigga. Like until you died. Like you waited till you died to like release the fact. Oh, she got raped. Why don't you go to somebody before? Like I don't know. It was weird. But I know, you know, season two is probably going to be way more lit. I heard season two is coming out with a new narrator. A new narrator. So most likely it's going to be like a different storyline. Most likely it's going to be like flipped around. It's going to be different people. I hope it's like an American horror story. I hope it's going to be like a, like a, like a, like a different theme every season. Like a, like this, I hope next season, I hope next season they do a whole thing where if a girl's putting videos on YouTube or a girl is 
putting out live streams or brought live broadcasting or something. Like, I hope they, you know, do, like, a little twist or something. Because, obviously, I mean, they can't, like, bring Hannah Baker back to season two. Because it's like, I mean, we already know who killed her. We know why it happened. And, I mean, there's just no point of them bringing back the same storyline. There's one scene where her ex-friend was getting raped. I don't know if you remember that scene where her ex-friend was getting raped in the bed. Where her friend, I think her name was Jessica... That black girl with the blonde hair was getting raped. And I'm over here like, okay, she was hiding in the closet watching her ex-friend get raped. Like, girl, what is you doing? You might as well fucking take out your camera and record this shit. Bitch, you better jump out and say, hey, stop. Get off of her. Like, or you should have told somebody. And then once she left that party, she got a ride from some other black girl. And then she was in the car just chilling and then her, her friend ran over a stop sign and then she's snapping on her friend saying hey you don't just do things and think that it's okay you know you, you gotta speak up you gotta like not do this like she was trying to call the cops because her friend ran over a stop sign just doing it was over a damn stop sign bitch no i'm not gonna lie honestly and then her friend left her ass because she was bitching about a stop sign and it just drove off i would have done the same shit too comment below if you would have done the same shit she's over here bitching about a stop sign no, I would have left your ass. I told her, get your ass in the car. She said, no, I'm calling the police, and I want to report this accident. Okay, but you're going to report this accident on your own, because I'm not staying here, bitch. You're good. You're, you're good. I, I would have rolled the fuck out and then drove off with the finger. Anyways, Hannah Baker did a little bit too much for me, because... In, like, the last episode, she recorded herself saying, okay, I'm giving life one last chance. Like, she, you know, she recorded tapes, you know, guiding people, like, why she killed herself and yada, yada, yada. You know, they're just trying to inform people, like, why she killed herself and why she felt some type of way about the people around her and basically making tapes about what led up to her killing herself and shit. And honestly, I would have killed that bitch my damn self because what the fuck is you doing sending me tapes comment below what you would have done if she was sending you tapes i personally didn't grab the razor blade and slit her arm so i don't know why i would be getting in trouble honestly i mean i can understand the people raping her and i can understand that's about it like i can understand the guy that raped her and it's funny because the guy that raped her he was on the tapes but he didn't get tapes sent to him he didn't get tapes sent to him like, why didn't he get tapes sent to his house, but you sent in tapes to people who just did nothing but run their mouth? Honestly, I feel like Hannah Baker should have caught these motherfuckers outside and just beat some fucking ass. Because when you're getting bullied, you gotta, you, gotta, you gotta beat some ass. Like, you gotta cast these bitches outside because people be getting beside themselves. Or you just gotta ignore it. Because if I was Hannah Baker, honestly, I would have just switched schools. I would have dropped out and I would have just did online school, virtual school. What is you doing? Slit in your wrist, bitch. Why did you come to school the next year? She came to school the next year trying to cut her hair and think things are going to be different. Bitch, why are you cutting your hair thinking things are going to be different? High school is high school. People talk shit. People run their fucking mouth. It happens. It's happened to all of us who are watching this. I'm pretty sure all of us who are watching this have had people run their mouths, had people run their mouths about us. We've had people talk shit about us. We've had people call us names, label us, and now we're not. It happens. Like, you want me to go around getting mad and, like, making tapes because people over here calling me fags and weird and shit? Like, no. I think Hannah Baker did a little bit too much. I can understand maybe she felt damaged and fucked up because she was getting raped and stuff. But maybe she should have said something. And then the last episode, she spoke to her counselor. She was telling him, yo, like, I don't want to say his name. Basically, just she just didn't want to say his name. He would ask her, yo, who raped you? Who put you through this? Who sexually assaulted you? She didn't want to say any names. And then he said, okay, the seniors are leaving anyways. And she's like, what? The seniors are leaving anyways. I mean, if you don't want to tell me names, the only thing I can give you, the only response I can tell you to do is to move on. People getting mad at the principal, the counselor, whatever, whatever the fuck he was, because he didn't want to help Canna Baker. He didn't call nobody. She was playing the victim, in my opinion, even though she kind of was the victim when it came to the whole rape situation. But I feel like with Hannah Baker, you get mad because nobody had your back. Like that Clay dude, like the main character Clay, she got mad because she snapped on him and yelled at him and then scared him off and got mad because he didn't speak up and say anything. Out my my fucking business. At the end of the day, she always snapping on somebody, going off on somebody. So how can you expect for you to have friends when you surrounded yourself around these people and then just push them away or when you found out they was phony, you... 
you, you just shut everybody out. And that whole lesbian bitch, that Chinese lesbian bitch that tried to make up lies and spread lies about Hannah Baker being a lesbian because she wanted to cover up the fact that she was a lesbian. You should have whooped her ass. What was that bitch doing in your house anyways? Like, the fuck? And then it was funny because in the episode when they kissed, and if you remember this episode, if you remember, if you watch the show, you know what I'm talking about. In the episode where they kissed, and she was like, the Asian girl was like, hey, you should kiss me. And then they kissed and stuff, yada, yada, yada. <sighs> like, hmm, I, I think that's a little weird. Like, even if y'all are friends and stuff, and the Asian girl says, hey, you should kiss me, why are you kissing her? The fuck? Like, I don't know. Comment below if you're a girl, you're watching this, and if your best friend looked at you and said, hey, you should kiss me on the lips. What would you do? You gonna tell that bitch to get the fuck out your face? I don't see you like that, or I don't roll like that? Or you go just kiss her because you think it's not that serious? Like, they was, like, actually making out French kissing type shit. Hannah Baker, low-key, was doing the most. I feel like she put herself in a position where she actually allow this stuff to happen like she like really could have like went off on bitches she should have like she could have been whooping people's asses she could have ran to her parents or something like that but like the whole her getting raped at the party and stuff like that was like the mind-blowing scene like when she got raped i was like like this girl actually got raped but i feel like when she was getting raped i was shocked that she didn't kick and scream even even more like if you see a guy like about like pinning your arms back and like kissing you in the back of your neck like trying to like rape you and stuff i don't know I don't know, maybe she was scared in the moment, but I really wish she would have screamed, like, ah, 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 this bitch-ass nigga trying to rape me, his little fucking dick ass. Like, I feel like she should have just fucking screamed, went a bit, been a bit louder. And it's like, why are you in a hot tub with a rapist? How the fuck are you going to a rapist party? He's a rapist. He raped Jessica. And you going to his party, chilling in his hot tub, thinking he not going to do the same thing to you? How the fuck you ain't noticed anybody else left the hot tub and it was just you and him, dumbass? I know it's just a show, and I know I'm taking this show a little bit too damn seriously, but the show has really pissed me off, and I feel like, in a way, Hannah Baker was doing the most. Had she sent me them tapes, I probably would've just threw them shits in the garbage and been with, like, whatever. Oh, you gotta listen to her, or, or somebody that she trusts is gonna give them off to the police. I didn't kill the bitch, so if I got them tapes sent to my house, I wouldn't have listened to them shits. I would've been like, nah, I'm good. I'm good. I ain't slit her throat, I ain't fire. All I did was run my fucking mouth and talk shit about her. It happens. It's high school. That's just my opinion on the situation. I really did love the show. Episodes 1, 2, and 3 had me like, oh my god, what the fuck is this? But once I got to episode 5, I was like, okay, this is good. 13 Reasons Why is a pretty good show. I recommend it to everybody. If you haven't watched it yet, you better watch that shit today. Or I'll link episode, I'll, I'll link, I'll link websites down below where you can watch it online on a computer, not mobile device, but on a computer so that you can like understand like what the hype is all about. The show is pretty good. I like it, you know. I can't wait for season two. By the way, season two comes out in September. Comment below your opinions on the an overall show. Tell me if you agree with me. Tell me if you disagree with me. Just comment anything. Like, tell me things that stood out to you on the show. Tell me things that you didn't like. Tell me things that you wasn't fucking with. Tell me things that just blew you the fuck away. But I was that for this video. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. This is my review for 13 Reasons Why, the overall show, and why I feel like Hannah was doing the most. And yeah, that's that. Choice out this bitch.